Hello and welcome to another update video about Fetch AI. So FET is uh, following the roadmap nicely at the moment. FET has been pushing higher according to the roadmap. Um, we had a support area here, price reacted to it. It's been rallying in somewhat an overlapping and corrective way. So it's a bit difficult to say what exactly this is. Um, it's not very clear in terms of microstructure, but important is that in November, with many of the other coins, we were tracking a low, a somewhat substantial low that formed there in, yeah, in November, and then a five wave move up, followed by a three wave corrective pullback. And now we're pushing even higher in a third wave, and it's now even reached the first wave three target we determined. That's typically when we measure the initial one, two setup, which means the first five wave move up, and then compare that to the low of the or at least we measure from the low of the wave two, which is the first corrective pullback after a five wave move up. Well, then we get certain Fibonacci extensions that we can use to track targets. And the third wave to the upside here normally should reach minimally the 138% extension and that level has been reached. Now it can always go higher. Ideally it does go actually a bit higher and I'd be tracking um, the 161.8 extension and 178.6 extension levels as next targets. Here we talk about tw uh, $2.13 and $2.26. They could be reached next. Um, the question is only, do we get another pullback in the wave four before we push higher? And that would then be wave five so that we already topped in wave three, which is of course possible given that this chart has rallied against the first wave three target. Now. If you ask me, I'm not entirely sure about the microstructure here, but I think it would look best with another extension into the direction of $2.13 or even $2.26. But we are far away from it at the moment, and I would, yeah, I would, um, I would really prefer actually one more extension. So what we have on this chart is currently just a three-wave pullback. So it's only a corrective pullback, which generally leaves the door open for higher. It's not a five wave move down, at least not yet, which would be more clearly bearish. So either way, I'm looking for higher prices, but the only support I can offer at the moment is between $1.74 and $1.52. Below $1.52, this whole um, upside breakout attempt might fail because we normally don't want a fourth wave to break below the 50% retracement. So that's the key level to watch. If wave four is really unfolding, then this year would likely only be the A wave element. Then we should get a B wave bounce and a C wave to the downside. But I'm not very happy to label it like that because I cannot rule out that this decline is part of a still unfolding third wave. It's just that the microstructure is really unclear to me. Um, what I would prefer actually is that this is a wave one, this is a wave two, this is a wave three, we get one more for five pattern. But because the microstructure is quite unclear to me and also because it wouldn't make a great difference, I leave the support area where it is. So it's the same one, yeah, because I cannot rule out that we're already in the larger fourth wave. But overall, I'm still looking for higher prices against $1.51 and um, <clears throat> wave five should reach ideally 226 plus. That's the update about FET. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.